and press and hold the lock button to take off. Holy cow, you're kidding me. Oh! <laughs> this right here is the DJI Avada 2, and today I'm gonna learn how to fly it. If you are a follower of this channel, you know I really want to get good at flying FPV drones, but I also, I'm currently not good at flying FPV drones. And I've certainly never tried one as advanced as the Avada series. This right here is the Fly More Combo. Today, I'm gonna unbox this thing. We'll just go through what's in it really quickly. We'll go over what is new on the Avada 2 versus the Avada 1, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go fly this thing. First time I've ever flown in Nevada, you uh, you get to watch along and probably laugh at me. <laughs> Nevada 2 unboxing comes with a very nice case and everything bagged nicely inside. And in here we have, that uh, looks like the controller, batteries, goggles, and the drone. The DJI Avada 2, Ooh, I think it's slimmer. Look how slim that is. Let's get this all unbagged first. So here is the, the drone. This is just a battery charger. One thing I do know about this now though, is that these batteries are fast charging, which is amazing, but also that this charging hub can do something called power accumulation. So let's say you had one battery at 25%. This battery is at like 30%, but this battery is at 50%. You can use these two batteries to charge this battery to full within, within this charger. I'm not sure how to do that yet, but we'll figure it out. This right here is the RC3 motion controller. This whole kit, it does not come with like a normal, come on, does not come with a normal remote control, like with, you know, normal two sticks, like you feel like you're, you're flying Xbox. It only comes with this motion controller and it's a new one for the Avada 2. No idea how it works yet. And then last in the kit is new goggles, the DJI Goggles 3. These are also new for the Avada 2. And is that, look at that. I think they put the battery on the back. On the Avada 1, the battery just kind of dangled. That's actually kind of nice. So that it kind of weights it on your head nicely. And I don't know, I've never flown the Avada 1, but I did have the Apple Vision Pro and having a cable dangle down into your pocket was super annoying. Little antennas that pop up there. Let's try this bad boy on. Hang on. Tighten this up like that. And then you've kind of got this, like a hinge right here, so you can adjust the, the goggles. Uh, nothing, nothing is charged up though. So I'm gonna charge this guy. I'm gonna charge batteries. I guess I gotta charge, yeah, I gotta charge everything. I'll charge these up and then we're gonna go outside. I, a bunch of you in the last video where I was trying to fly that other FPV drone, you told me that you should start in like a big open field. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that because I do not, I do not wanna crash this thing right away. I wanna, I really want this to, I really wanna get good at it and not crash it. All right, I'll get charged up and then we'll, we'll go outside. All right, I am at the park. I have plenty of room this time. I will not hit anything, uh, but they also don't know how to fly just yet. So I'm gonna read a couple of quick, like getting started things on this. And uh, I assume it's all gonna be just paired up already for me, but I, I did bring, bring a quick start guide. Okay, I'm just gonna follow this when I when I take off. That'll probably be okay. Hey, let's go over really quickly the things that are new with the Avada 2. One is this is 30 grams lighter than the Avada 1 and it's slimmer. So I was right, it is slimmer. We obviously have an SD card slot on there, but it does come with 46 gigabytes of internal memory. The first one came with 20 gigabytes of internal memory and now we have 46. Get so many stickers on here. The DJI Goggles 3 are using a the DJI 04 transmission system, which gives me up to 13 kilometers of range, which is how many miles is 13 kilometers? 8.08 .08 miles, eight miles of range. I know you won't actually get that. Hold on, you're not actually gonna get eight miles. Like that's perfect line of sight, perfect conditions. But still, if the range is eight miles, let's say I'm like three miles away, this is over 250 grams, this is 377 grams. So technically this falls under all the FAA rules and you should be able to see your drone. Eh. These batteries have 23 minutes of flight time. Like I said, fast charging now. And what I'm probably most stoked on is the new camera on this. They basically took 
the DJI Action 4 and they put it into this drone. One over 1.3 inch sensor, f2.8 aperture, 155 degree field of view, but this only goes to 4K 60, where obviously the Action 4 goes to 4K 120. Then also awesome on here is we now have D Log M built into here instead of just D Cine like, which is what the Avada One had. Okay, this all set. I'm gonna I'm gonna just pair it up and then I'll, I'll check back in with you once I'm actually flying. I should have got the full user manual. The quick start guide, this wasn't a great idea. Oh, well that was crazy. All of a sudden it just started pouring rain while I was trying to, to pair my goggles. I went into the van, got everything paired up and uh, there's a break in the weather right now, but I can see more dark clouds coming. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get my first flight in before it rains again. Everything is soaking. Oh, Avada, the goggles, and the motion controller. I also read the instructions on the motion controller, and it seems intuitive, but also like, uh, I don't know. This makes me very nervous. All right, first flight, here we go. Press lock button twice to start the propellers. <laughs> and press and hold the lock button to take off. Holy cow, you're kidding me. Oh, this looks so cool. It feels like it's very close to me. Is it very close to me? It's very close to me. Oh, I'm in, I'm like, I'm holding the trigger all the way in. I'm going very slow. How do I get out of beginner mode? I'm gonna go faster than this. Oh! <laughs> beginner mode, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, disable beginner mode, let's go. I'm in normal mode, so I can't go too fast. Holy cow. Well, as is in San Diego yesterday, it poured down rain, even hailed for a little bit, and today it is it is gorgeous. So I brought this down to Del Mar, which is where, like it's a, it's a cliff. I'm on top of a cliff. I'm probably, I don't know, a few hundred feet up from the water right now. Let's give it a whirl. I am currently 19 minutes into flying the Avada 2. First battery, full 15 minutes I got to fly, and the second battery, like four minutes before it started raining on me. So it just, it feels good already. Like it feels right. And I feel like I can already fly, I don't know, over, over water and down cliffs. Holy cow. All right, let's wrap up this video on the DJI Avada 2. Before, before I say what I'm about to say, let me just start with this thing is an absolute blast. I, I've had so much fun flying. I've only a few batteries in, and I feel like, like my confidence level is through the roof because of all the things that it's doing for me. And I'll get to that in a minute, but look, I took this to the park. I flew down there a bunch. I started going through things. I started kind of going a little slower, but trying to be a little more deliberate. I got through these like ring circle things. I did crash one time, but I, I really started maneuvering more precisely. I flew it in my backyard. My girls were chasing the drone around as I was trying to maneuver through some of the obstacles in my backyard. And it was just like, this is addicting. I want to go fly this right now. I don't want to make this video anymore. I just want to go fly my new toy. So with that said, like, is this the perfect drone for a beginner to get? Ah, uh, yes. I, look, here's the deal. 
Here's what the Avada 2 offers you. An all-in-one package, you, you get everything, an insanely high quality set of goggles, like the, the video feed coming out of there, amazing eight miles of range, that's ridiculous. Super fast drone. This drone in manual mode can do 60 miles an hour. You get the triple charger, you get the motion controller, you're getting this whole set with a bag and the fly more combo. Now, here's, here's like where the limitation comes in. What this drone can get you, is from basically 0% to like 70% of the results of an FPV drone with, with this setup. Because I learned that with the motion controller, I can only use normal and sport mode on this drone. I cannot go into manual mode, which is probably great. It's probably the only reason that this drone still exists right now, because if you go into manual mode, you need a controller with like actual two sticks, but now all of those assistance things are taken away from you. So right now, if I go into sport mode and I bank turn it, it'll bank, but it'll never fully roll over. I'll never, I'll never get to a point where I roll it and just go zah, straight into the ground it's always going to maintain control. It's, it's always going to keep me in control. So I can just have a blast with this thing. I basically just use this. I point where I wanna go. I pull the trigger. When I wanna turn, I turn. I just kind of move that little circle in the middle to where I wanna go. Or maybe, am I moving the circle or am I moving the crosshair? Very intuitively was able to go bombing down cliffs through Del Mar or fly around the park. There's even an easy acro mode where this one's a little silly because you can make it do like backflips and front flips and rolls and all of that, even though you don't know how to do those things. So this is what I'm getting at. This is yes, perfect drone for beginners because it has so much assistance that it's not really gonna let you get out of control and just destroy the thing right away. But to get to those upper levels of actually learning how to fly FPV, you need a controller with sticks and you need to be flying in manual mode. So I think what this drone does is like just today, in three batteries of flying, I think this drone took me from like zero to maybe 50 or 60% of the results that you can get flying FPV, like the visual coolness, the, the very cool moves that you can do. If I wanted to go from 60% to 100%, I would need to get a normal controller, which brings me back down to 0%, and just to get back to 60%, like just to get to the point where I was flying the lines that I was today, like that's gonna take me a long time to do with a controller and two sticks. So this gets me to 60%, if I ever really wanna go beyond that and push this drone to what it can do in manual mode of going 60 miles an hour, I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta get a remote control and basically start over. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep flying this in sport mode, so as fast as I can go, and I'm really just gonna get comfortable with the maneuvers that happen in FPV, because even just kind of learning, like how much can it pull up before I hit a cliff, or how much can I dive and do something? But I wanna get there, I really wanna get there. Let me know what you guys think of the DJI Avada 2. I promise there will be a follow-up video after I have flown and probably crashed it much more. <laughs> Questions, comments, anything you got, throw them down below and I'll I'll get to them. And I'll see you soon. I really am gonna go fly this more. This battery's dead. I need a new battery. All right, I'm going flying. I'll see you. Dang, stinking rain in San Diego. Come on. No, it's really raining. Holy cow. Come on.